how to turn this into this. Next on Now You Know. So tell me again, Daddy, what happens when I die? Well, son, some say that if you've been very good, you'll be reborn as this. And what if I'm bad? Well, son, I guess you're old enough to hear this. You die and go to landfill. Landfill? What's landfill? It's where many of us number five end up, through no fault of our own, to waste away eternity without breaking down as we stay waste for thousands of years. I'll do anything, Dad, to stay out of the landfill. We all recycle, but there are different kinds of plastics. And unfortunately, even those thrown in recycle bins end up in landfills. Let's dive in real quick and explain how that works. There are seven different categories of plastics, which were set up by the Society of Plastics Industry in 1988 and are used internationally to help sort plastics for reclaiming. Number one, or polyester, is what water bottles are made out of. Number two, or high density polyethylene, is what milk jugs are made out of. There are more, but we're going to talk about number five today because it ends up in landfills much more than it should. Plastic number five is polypropylene, a plastic that can be recycled many, many times. It doesn't contain BPA, it's microwave and dishwasher safe, it's tough and rigid and lightweight, and it's used in a lot of consumer packaging. So why aren't many plastics made of recycled polypropylene? It's impossible to talk about recycling without talking about material recovery facilities, or MRFs for short. This is where your plastic goes after you throw it in the recycling bin. Plastics are separated by type using people power and infrared systems to detect the unique chemical structure of each plastic. Little puffs of air are then used to push similar materials together. This separates the plastic by type and allows for the regrinding and repurposing to begin. A lot of polypropylene gets collected, but where does it go? Unfortunately, despite being put in recycling bins, a lot of polypropylene goes directly from the MRF to the landfills. Why is this? While we are able to collect a lot of post-consumer polypropylene, most companies don't see a big advantage in using it, opting for new virgin plastic instead. There is such a low demand for recycled polypropylene that only a small percentage that gets collected gets recycled. The rest gets dumped into landfills or burned for energy. So how do we fix this? How do we get recycled polypropylene in demand? Here's one way, by buying them. These products are all made of recycled polypropylene. They are manufactured in the USA by a company called Preserve. This three-blade razor from Preserve is made of 100% recycled polypropylene. It comes with two heads, and the heads can be replaced with Gillette and Persona blades. It comes in a variety of colors, and even comes in this neat travel case. And here's the thing, it only costs $8, so it doesn't cost any more to go green. We all use food containers. This set costs less than $14. You can get them on Amazon, you can get them at Walmart. What I like about these is that they're BPA free, they're really sturdy, they're dishwasher, microwave safe, and the lids on these soup containers are nice because they screw on, which means they're not gonna spill soup all over you when you go to work. And the best thing is, they're 100% recycled plastic. Do you have kids? Are you going on a picnic? Do you live in a dorm? Then you need plastic dishware. So why not use 100% recycling? Does this sound like an ad? Because it's not. We bought this stuff ourselves and we tried it out for you. This stuff works great and it costs the same. And the best part is, it's made out of this. This new water bottle is my favorite. It's a really handy size, it's only 15 bucks, and on top of being 100% recycled, it comes with this really nifty feature. I've been using it for a couple of weeks. I've dropped it a couple times, it's been fine, but I really like how well designed it is. I've been getting all sorts of compliments. It's BPA free and it comes in a lot of different colors. Lastly, we have the Preserve Toothbrush. It's three bucks. It's actually the first product they made. You can get it on Amazon. It's made of 100% recycled polypropylene. It comes in a variety of colors and bristles. 
And with all their products, the best thing is you can recycle it again. So come on, people. Do you want to keep plastic out of the landfill? Do you want to stop taking fossil fuels out of the ground? You can start today. It's easy. It costs the same. There's no sacrifice. It's your choice. Now you know.